learned about networking at a very young age. I learned it probably out of the gate by mistake. Um, in our community in Caledonia, there's the largest egg producer in Canada. His name is Ron Clark, and he's also the largest producer of chicken. And he's also the largest uh, manufacturer of chicken equipment. Uh, and a very, very successful businessman. When I was a young man, um, I needed to go and see Ron for some assistance when I was getting started in business. Little did I know that he'd become my first mentor. How many people have a mentor in the room? Do they know it? You should tell them and you should let them know. Ron became my first mentor because I was asking him about some very difficult business decisions that I had to make as a youth and he gave me some excellent guidance. And although I didn't know he was gonna become a mentor, he did for a short period of time. Now I still see Ronnie, 70 years of age, his son runs her company, companies, but that was very important to me in my early stages. Uh, when we formed KRTS, which is one of the largest driving facilities in Canada, back in the day, in 1989, uh, we really didn't know where to turn to when it came to guidance, as far as how to run a first class operation. Back then we didn't have the internet, you could have just Googled, right? Truck training schools, North America, and all these names would come up. Well, back then, we were looking through magazines. And I came across a company in Liverpool, New York, just outside of Syracuse, called NTTS, National Tractor Trailer School. And the president of that school, his name is Harry Kowalchuk, Jr. And I picked the phone up after reading this article, and I called Harry. And I said, you don't know me from a hill of beans. I'm just a young guy. I live in Caledonia, Ontario. We have a very small training facility, but I'd like to learn more. And I just read your article in one of the transportation magazines, and I'd love to meet you. And he said, come on down. Now, I took the initiative. If I wouldn't have took that initiative and called Harry, he certainly wouldn't have found me and called me. But what, I, what he did say to me is, I won't meet you at the school. I'll meet you at the Holiday Inn, which is just down the road, because he was very protective of his business. He didn't know who I was. So we met at the Holiday Inn, and he grilled me for about an hour, and he said, okay, we're gonna go out for dinner. He called his business partner who came over to the hotel. They picked me up and we went out for dinner, and he talked some more about the industry and what I was involved with, and he said, okay, tomorrow morning, come on over at 10 o'clock. <coughs> Excuse me, to their facility. Um, that was a very important network that I made with Harry because he became another one of my mentors, and also someone that I could rely on seven days a week at any time to call for advice, right? But I asked Harry to be my mentor. Obviously, I didn't tell him. I said, you have great advice. I'd like to learn from you. And since 1991, not only have we become business friends, but he's been my mentor. He's become a family friend. He's been at our anniversary parties. And through that business relationship, become a friendship. And who do you do business with? Absolutely, why? People that you like and who like you. And trust? And trust. Absolutely. <laughs> One of the things that I always do when I, when I get an opportunity to meet some new people and we start to form a business relationship, I'll always ask them if there's something that I can do for them. What is it that I can do for you? And being in the industry since 1983, I've had the opportunity to meet a lot of great people. One of my friends is in the room tonight, Lisa Arsenault, who I've known for 25 years. She's been in the insurance business, and we become very good business friends, but we also share a lot of contacts. And I'm sure that looking around the room that there's many of you that have many business relationships and many contacts. But I'm always interested in what I can do for other people. One of the things that Ron Clark taught me at a very, very young age, if you give enough people what they want, you'll get everything that you want. Does that make sense? We were promoting our new online rear view mirror uh, a month ago. And my son Matt and I were doing a conference call with a potential client in London, Ontario. And we were talking to them and, and Matt and I were kind of going over how the call would go. And I said to Matt, I said, out of the gate, we won't talk everything but business. We'll talk about his wife, whose name is Lindsay. We'll talk about their new child, whose name is Haley. 
what we will talk about their family because he's a family oriented individual. He's a big Western football fan and they were going on a big trip coming up. And we'd talk about all those things and then I'd also ask the individual what it is that they had going on within their business. And when he told me, there was a little switch that went off and it let me know that I could help him with an individual that may be helping him with a new project. And I offered that up. That was 20 to 25 minutes into a call. So structured networking sometimes takes some time and it's not easy, but it's very, very important. And I offered up to make a phone call to an individual that I knew that could help them with this process and project that, they, that we were working on. And he's very appreciative. Then we got in to talk about what I wanted and what we wanted. And it made the call go very easy because I give him what he wanted. Very, very important. I keep losing my note here. <clears throat> this is really simple. This is really simple. Another trick that I learned from, from one of my mentors, it's a thank you card, right? I make a point of sending 10 of these a week, five to 10 a week with people that I meet. Just a brief note on the back, you've all received the rear view mirror postcard, but this is from KRTS. So uh, my most interesting time to use this is when we don't get an account. We do a ton of corporate training. We're over 300 corporate clients that we deliver our services to, but we don't get every account. But when we don't get an account, I'll send it to them and thank them for thinking of us and maybe for giving us a chance next time. Or if I get a contact or a referral to a client, not a lead, I'll send that person a thank you just for introducing me to that person. And as much as you can send it in an email, as much as you can say it on the telephone, when you get this delivered to your office desk, it means much more. It means a ton more. And I've been out to functions where I've sent these cards out and forgot all about it. And somebody will come up to me and say, hey, thanks a lot for the card. Oh, you're welcome. It's a great reminder of something very simple that can be done, very cost effective, and, and very much appreciated, especially with just a quick note on the back. Do we all pump people's tires? You know what I mean when I say pump people's tires? You're, you're talking to someone about someone else and they'll say, do you know Bruce Outridge? Right? And if I get asked that question, they'll say, do you know Bruce Outridge? Bruce Outridge is the guy back there doing the video. I'll say, absolutely I know Bruce. And I won't form an opinion, but I'll ask the opinion. How do you know Bruce? Have you done business with him? And Bruce is involved in a number of different things, but I'll get them to form an opinion for me so I can take the conversation where I want it to go. And always, always positive, right? Very, very important. Bruce and I have done business for approximately a decade and just recently uh, became partners in the online rearview mirror. That's a family um, business that we started five, six years ago, um, we seen the need of the online ability that could be had by going strictly online, but we didn't have the backroom capabilities to do it and to do it properly. So we reached out to someone who, who we knew had that backroom capability. And we're not good at everything. You know, sometimes I get tired hearing our bio and what we do, but if you hire the right people and surround yourself with the right people, it becomes easy. Right? And that comes through networking. I have a blue file at home, at the office. And that blue file is for people that I meet, that I really like, that someday may become an associate of one of our business. 